I was thinking this morning how we as humans, we love to arrive, right? I'm going to explain it. We take a journey, just say, I'm going from here to Charlotte. My focus is to arrive in Charlotte. Someone goes to nursing school, their focus is to arrive to the very end of it and arrive at the graduation date and then land a job. We love to arrive. Just say, I look at my neighbor's yard and the way that they make flower, plant flower or plant cucumber and um, tomato, I would love to arrive at the place that I could do the same, right? We want to buy a house for a loved one to create this place. We would love to get to that place that finally we get the house we want. Then you get the house you want. Then we want other thing in the house, which is not bad. It's okay. But we always look for the arrival. You get into the airplane. Of course, you look for the time that we would arrive in our destination. But the thing that came to me was we would never be satisfied by arriving at anywhere, by doing anything, accomplishing anything. Accomplishment to me is like the same word as arrival, right? Look at the life of Solomon. I know we all heard this before, but this is what came to me this morning that why do I pressure myself to accomplish anything or to arrive at any place or any level when nothing will satisfy me until I stand in front of Jesus when I leave this body. Or some mystics, they got to that place, like Brother Lawrence, we all kind of, most of us, we heard his story. He was working in the kitchen at this monastery, peeling potato and doing the lowest and lowest and lowest of the jobs, washing dishes. But he had this union with God. To me, that's arriving. You arrive. No, it's not the final destination. It's the eternal destination. Then go ahead and become a nurse, become a doctor, become a surgeon, have the best house. I'm one of you guys. I have my own things. You know, even if you want to grow the best tomato like our neighbor is doing across the street. I love those people. But man, they know how to grow those things, right? It's fine. It's part of life. But know that you would never really feel that you have arrived until you have that union with God on earth or when we stand in front of him then I could take it easy. I could get my speed to go a little bit lower and not to always try to accomplish one thing after another and arrive at the places that I want to arrive. You know, you're the, the athlete in Olympic, they are, they, they are not content until they get to the third place and when you get there you want to go to the second place and when you get there you want to go to the first place and after a while they realized that didn't even satisfy them and it was great. Then the place of my arrival and your arrival is the heart of God, is the love of God, is union and unity with God and that is the place of our arrival. I just wanted to say that. That's all. That felt very good, my friend.